Hi, Tile at Inner Fidelity here. Today we're going to talk about these Skull Candy Mixmaster headphones. These headphones were inspired by the DJ Mixmaster mic, and uh, they're a DJ headphone. They come in this nice, uh, or they come with this nice traveling case. It's uh, got a hard or a, a, a firm top and bottom, and then fabric uh, in between. It's kind of unusual, but it works uh, pretty well. Headphones are inside. They uh, fold up like this and open like this. And the headphones come with two different cables. Uh, the first is a DJ cable. It's about five feet long and then eight feet long when it's uh, uh, extended. Uh, it has a screw-in connector on the headphone side. Uh, and the headphones can take the connector on either side. And uh, it has a 90 degree angle screw on uh, adapter on a uh, eighth inch mini plug on this side. Looks very beefy. And the other cable is a, uh, a shorter cable, about four and a half feet, and uh, with uh, small uh, mini connectors on either end. Um, that uh, one end goes in the headphones like that, as you see. Um, very nicely done on the cables, I thought. Um, the headphones themselves uh, are um, not really to my taste. I don't like this sort of uh, uh, stealth Darth Vader blocky plastic, you know, hard edged kind of look, but certainly it's appealing to some folks. Um, and uh, I thought it was uh, fairly well built, except that it does make a little bit of noise, creaky noise at the end of the, the uh, uh, travel of the swiveling ear cups. Um, but uh, other than that, I found them uh, quite well constructed. As I said, they're a DJ headphone and they have some unique uh, features for DJs. The first is uh, here, there's a little push button and you push it in it stays activated and it will mute the headphones. So this is a way you can just mute the tunes quickly and listen to what's going on and then turn it back on. Uh, it also has a feature that um, when you turn the headphone and put it up against your ear, it monos the signal. It, it monos the signal when you turn the headphone like this and uh, allows you to hear both the left and the right channel in one ear and that's pretty nice. And uh, as I said, it uh, you can put the cable in either um, earpiece. Um, I found them fairly comfortable. They're fairly light um, and they hug your head uh, nicely. Um, uh, so you can shake your head vigorously and they don't move around at all. Um, uh, they're fairly comfortable. As I said, the, the cushions on the ear pieces uh, do go fully around the ear and they're very, very soft. Uh, the ear band uh, pads are a little firmer and they're memory foam. Um, the end result is, a, is quite a comfortable headphone, except the depth of the ear cup is a little shallow. My ear did touch the bottom of the, uh, uh, the ear cup here, and it is a, a hard piece of plastic, and that was a little bit bothersome over time, but I, I wouldn't call it a big deal. Uh, the sound of these headphones is absolutely terrific, I must say. Um, Skull Candy's done a great job with the sound of these headphones. Um, for a $300 headphone, I would say they're right in there with the um, other headphones in that price range. Uh, they're, they're a very, very competitive uh, headphone in the sound department. Um, the bass is uh, uh, neutral, a little bit elevated, um, but um, not overly so. It's not a big, fat, woolly, muddy headphone at all. Um, but it does have a nice, uh, powerful base. Uh, the extension is quite good. It does roll off in the last octave, but it, it's, it's quite good. Um, the base is uh, fairly tight and punchy, although there's a bit of bloom in it, but still uh, not too much. Mid-range is very, very nice. Uh, the, it, there is a warm tilt throughout, so um, it is a little bit of a warmer sounding headphone, but uh, it does a very good job of producing the 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 brightness of a voice and the the strength of a voice in the in the um, upper mid range and lower treble region. 
So it, it was very um, a very pleasant to listen to there. The treble does roll off a bit um, in the top octave. Uh, so they do sound slightly soft, um, slightly ever so slightly muffled sounding, I would say, is one way of putting it. Anyway, it's polite, rolled off on the top. I think that's a good idea for a lot of the types of music that are going to be played on these headphones where there's a good chance of it being harsh. Um, these will do a good job of uh, dialing that back, uh, that aggressiveness back just a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> all in all, I thought these were a really successful headphone. Um, and uh, so I'm very happy I can recommend this headphone at uh, $299, I think. And um, I uh, I think they did a great job. Congratulations, Skull Candy and Mixmaster Mike. These are a nice pair of headphones. All right, thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.